employees. What's your best roid rage story? Story one. I saw a guy get mad at his spotter for jumping in to help him when he was doing bench press to failure. He was screaming, you ruined my whole set. You ruined my whole set. The guy then walked over to the wall, put both hands on the wall and just shrieked like, hey, sick, giga, giga, hip, yeah, then stormed to the locker room. Everyone literally stopped what they were doing to watch this unfold. Story two. There was this guy at the YMCA I lifted at in high school who was crazy as all hell. The first time I saw him, he strolled through the door, held his arms out wide, and announced, The Terminator is here. This one time, he was using one bench and I walked up to the one next to him, but there were plates on it. I turned and asked, Is someone using this? I don't know, man, he said, but fudge them. They left. It's your bench. So I did my bench presses. Story 3. I did work in a gym, but this is actually a story from when I was a member of a different gym. There was this dude that my friends and I called the hero. He wore an American flag tank top, American flag shorts, white converse, and an American flag bandana. Dude was the most patriotic person I've ever seen. The dude was pretty average in terms of strength. Would usually do like 135 on bench in a 5x5 set. However, he touted himself as this incredible power lifter and was always hitting on girls in the gym talking about his latest competition. Every rep, no matter, the exercise, no matter the weight, he'd shout toot at the top of every rep. It was hilarious. You couldn't not laugh because it was so loud. The best part was he was actually like a super cool dude, always there for a spot, and would give high fives to people once they finished their sets. He also never took off his weightlifting belt or wrist wraps. Miss that guy sometimes edit. Okay, I get how jacked you are, lol. Or I am very strong is leaking. Story 4. I worked at a gym as the manager of the child center. It wasn't a roid rage, but I had to suspend a very pregnant woman's child for biting other children to the point that they bled. She was pissed and screamed at me saying there was no proof, except she didn't realize we kept records of previous incidents that she signed, and then complained to my boss telling her that I called her son a menace, except who says that anymore. The entire time she was complaining her child was hitting her and also screaming. Yeah, she canceled her membership and no one was sad. Story 5. Not an employee, but I watched some dude bad person the fudge out on another, screaming, You're training back and shoulders on the same day. You're a flipping moron. I should beat you. And just went on. Top of his lungs for a good two minutes. Slammed down his weights and everything. Story 6. About a year ago, we had two guys that were bodybuilders that were always here training for an event that definitely seemed enhanced. About two weeks before the competition, the one guy was maxing out on biceps and tore the distal biceps tendon, and it was very obvious. He was so pissed he got up and slammed the other weight to the floor, and the other guy had to hold him back as he destroyed a water station jug and started punching a wall and otherwise just going on a flipping rampage. The other guy eventually like rode him outside and calmed him down after 15, 20 minutes. Edit to clarify, rode him. That's all I could think of to describe it. The guy was on a tirade. Like on of those autopilot tirades, like when someone is drunk and they lose control. The friend sort of grabbed him from behind, one arm over one shoulder and one under the other, and guided the guy out the door as he was still yelling and trying to kick hit cow. Second edit, I'm not judging the guy's response. I know this is essentially a career-ending injury. I understand the pain and anger. I'm just answering the questions. Story 7. Not necessarily my best one, but pretty good. I was overseeing one of my facilities when this happened. There's a class going on, and this older gentleman starts walking through the middle of the classroom. The instructor politely tells the gentleman that there's a class going on, duh, but if he needs something from the room, she'll be glad to get it for him. He flips his cow and starts calling her every name in the book. Magically, the general manager disappears around the same time, so I get involved. I walk over, calmly tell the gentleman that there's no need for such language. At that point, he starts calling me every name in the book. I tell him his membership is now canceled, leave or I'm calling the police. He then throws a hissy fit, starts jumping on the rowing machines like a child, and knocking over the weight trees. Then he proceeds to pick up some of the Barbie bells and throw one at the instructor, and then try to swing one at me. The guy must have been close to 80, so it wasn't hard to dodge. At this point, a buddy of his comes over, grabs him, and takes him to the locker room so we don't call the cops, and then he leaves. Story 8. This guy was in the locker room and went to get a drink from the drinking fountain. He didn't notice that someone, my buddy, didn't turn the fountain's nozzle back after filling his water bottle, and this guy got his shoes wet because of it. So he starts on a tangent. Oh, this is great. I was late for work. Car had a flat tire. Forgot my energy drink. Had to skip lunch. I ain't had a carb all day. He is now known as Carb Guy. Story 9. We had this one guy who was pretty legit crazy. All the employees got a pretty weird vibe from him when he signed up. 
AMD had been kicked out from three other gyms in our town. Anyway, he never quite freaked out, but he did a lot of weird stuff. He screamed at people for talking for too long between their sets because it disturbed his zen. He complained to us in the staff that all women there distracted him from proper lifting because they wore to tight clothes and tried to get us to change that. He once screamed at me while I was working out because I didn't re-rack my weights when I went to refill my water bottle yet never once re-racked a single weight. Just by walking into the gym, you could tell that he had been there earlier. He got upset with one of our senior members who is a champion in senior natural bodybuilding at 78 years because he wasn't as big as he was, being 27 and on roids, stood around in the changing room while posing in front of the mirror, mumbling encouraging things to himself. After a while, we had to suspend his membership because he harassed all the members so much that our regulars wanted to switch gyms. Kind of a banana. Great toning and symmetrical muscles, though. Story 10. Oh, this story is perfect. So this occurred at the Dartmouth gym back around 2013. I'm really hoping someone in this thread was also there. For context, there was this jerk of a gym manager who would always come over and yell at you for slamming weights, even if you weren't actually slamming them. I know slamming weights is really annoying, so I'm not defending it. But you have to believe me that this guy had a hair trigger and loved to yell even when there really wasn't any weight dropping going on. Now this is where the stars aligned. There was this roided-up undergrad who I had seen before and knew he loved to drop weights. He was about 5-8 inches, but all unnatural muscle. I knew the angry manager was at the front desk, so I thought, oh, this might get good. Sure enough, the roider starts doing cleans and dropping the weights about as loud as you can. And immediately, the manager storms over, redder than a tomato, and looking like he was about to burst. What followed was just unintelligible screaming from both of them, only about one inch from each other. It was so much fun to watch. The whole gym stopped to watch. The best part, though, and the whole reason I'm telling this story, was once the manager was going off to call security. I'm actually surprised they didn't fight, since there was some shoving. Which would have been funny since the manager looked about 30 years older than the Reuter. The Reuter screamed this line. Yeah, yeah, I get how it is. The strongest guy at the gym is getting kicked out for being too flipping strong. Fudge, you I'm leaving. He was completely serious in saying that, too, and stormed off. Ah, man, I loved it. Story 11. This one guy at my gym looked like Michael Douglas in Falling Down, had an awesome 1,000-yard stare, and always looked like he was insanely angry, carried around an old alarm clock to time his lifts, like an old analog clock with the bells on top. One day gets angry at something, full-on jumps in the air, and roundhouse kicks the paper towel dispenser off the wall in the middle of a crowded gym. He was subsequently asked to leave. While on the way out, he took out his further anger on another paper towel dispenser by straight-up Patrick Sway's throat, ripping it off the wall, roadhouse style. Story 12. Don't know if this counts, but a big, big dude, 259 to 300 pounds, was going for a massive bench press. Didn't count how many plates, just know it was over six on each side. He was yelling all the way up to his max. Everyone is obviously looking at this point. Then he goes for the final one and just himself all over the bench. Doesn't finish the rep, needs two spotters. Gets up and is so angry that he didn't finish and that people were watching that he just yells, what? What? with Cal running down his legs and just starting screaming as he goes back to the locker room, all the while walking through the whole gym. Oh no, dude, it was smelly. Story 13. I worked front desk at a gym and I always had a volunteer with me. My volunteer was a lovely 67-year-old man. It was time to close the gym and the volunteer would go around telling the members that we were closing in 15 minutes and to leave the floor now if they were taking a shower at the gym. So they would be out by closing. One guy on the machines refused to leave the floor, even at the time of closing so my volunteer told him he had to go now. Roided guy took issue with being told it was time to leave and started yelling at my senior volunteer. I heard the commotion and looked up to see the roided guy following my volunteer. They were both screaming at each other. The roided guy asked him if he wanted to take this outside. My volunteer yelled back that he would love to take this outside. Thankfully, the gym manager stepped in and split them up before anything happened, and the roid guy left. You can bet that young roided out guy would have been regretting the decision to take it outside if they actually went out there. Due to the fact that the unassuming little old guy was a former Marine who fought in Nam. Love that volunteer. One of the best friends I could ever ask for. Story 14. This dude who was probably mid-50s training to get his pro card. He was super roided out and would constantly take off his shirt shorts to reveal his small peach briefs to pose in front of the free weights area. We constantly got complaints. You can see Ed's nuts again. And we'd have to go tell him to put his clothes back on. Story 15. At 24-hour fitness in the middle of the night, every night there was an older gentleman who we used to call Captain B. He was this bad peach who had done everything in his past life 
and was suffering through an autoimmune disease that was destroying the cartilage, especially in the spinal column. And apparently the way to slow down the process of deterioration was to exercise. This dude just loved to go around and fudge with all the college students who would stare at themselves in the mirror and just do bicep curls all day. One day he cow talked the biggest dude in the entire gym I'd ever seen, six, seven inches beyond jacked, about how little he can lift. Steroid dude lost his cow, so Captain B challenged him to a dip competition for $100. I watched both of them do 80 straight dips until the roids guy started to falter. Then he fell to the ground. Captain B stared him down and did 10 more dips, got off and got his money. The guy looked destroyed, like his purpose in life was meaningless. He lost his cow and ran out of the gym. I want to say he cried, but I'll sadly never know. Story 16. Not roid rage, but I think this applies. There was a guy who openly admitted to taking roid, and he also sold them. He was in his 30s, not huge, but pretty big, and owned his own landscaping business. He always talked to everyone in the gym, so just about everyone knew him. One day, while working out his face appeared on the local news channel The Gym Played, and he was arrested for selling steroids. He went to jail and came back a few months later, like nothing happened. Story 17. Late to the game, but a guy I knew from high school, pretty eccentric dude, showed up to the gym one day using a guest pass. He was wearing high jean shorts, a headband, and had a giant pair of work boots. He proceeded to get on the treadmill, crank it up to 10 miles per hour and start to sprint while yelling and clapping his hands. Now, mind you, the work boots were heavy duty and in conjunction with the 10 miles per hour setting, it was making the most horrifically loud banging noise you could possibly imagine. Naturally, everyone in the entire place stopped to see was happening. This went on for about 30 seconds until he could no longer maintain the 10 miles per hour setting and he proceeded to get thrown off the treadmill, somersaulted backwards about 15 feet until he cannonballed into the sheetrock where he broke through the wall. It was the most surreal god oh no thing I have ever seen. He got up off the ground, pumped his fist in the air, had the courtesy and wherewithal to turn off the treadmill, and then high-fived someone and walked out. I have not seen Jared since. That was 10 years ago. Story 18. Not an employee. I was doing cardio on a stationary bike at night when this cow happens. This guy is using presumably the preacher curl machine upstairs and is yelling and screaming like he got his arm off during childbirth for every lift. No one could see him from downstairs. Somehow there was no one else upstairs, but everyone was aware of him. People started yelling and berating the guy to calm the fudge down. Then an employee went up to set things straight. He gets upstairs, the clanging of weights and yelling stops, and the employee comes down the stairs looking confused. From some eavesdropping, the employee said there was no one upstairs when he went up. No one came down the stairs before he went up either. Gaines ghost lifting from the crypt has become a legend now. Story 19. This happened 10 years ago when I was a personal trainer at a Gold's Gym in my hometown. We had an amateur bodybuilder annoy the entire gym with his grunting. From start to finish, the ordeal lasted around two, three hours. Eventually, his voice became hoarse, but it didn't stop him one bit. My manager asked him to tone it down or he'd cancel his membership. Dude flipped his cow. He went on a tirade of how much money he spent up to that point, both in monthly membership fees and buying shakes from the juice bar, and how he was responsible for bringing in the hardcore lifters crowd to the gym. The hardcover lifters had been coming there anyway, so that statement didn't hold much water. After a half hour or so, he announced to the gym he was leaving for good and that he'd be responsible for shutting down this gym one day. Nobody believed him. Two years later, I had long since quit, and he opened up a gym in his garage for personal training. Word got out that he and his wife were actually producing results with their clients, so more people sought his services. Another year later, they expanded to an old warehouse. It took off. He made good on his promise. The Gold's Gym took a major loss in membership and closed their doors for good last year. Story 20. Me and my bud walking home after the bar. Pickup pulls up Ann and Juice Monkey jumps out. Walks up to all 300 pounds of us combined and asks in the most polite way, Hey guys, either of you want to scrap? I calmly replied, No. He apologized and left. The thing is, he was so nice about it, I genuinely felt bad that I wouldn't fight him. I think it would have been a really nice one-sided peach kicking. Story 21. Not an employee, but one time I was doing cardio and in the cardio room there's a small weightlifting area with a power rack and some dumbbells. There is also a large strength gym in my gym. My university has a huge gym with plenty of power racks and benches and weights. So I don't really understand why they put a power rack in the cardio. So this guy comes in. He looks pretty stocky and very serious. He gets on the Olympic lifting deadlift platform attached to the power rack and starts doing his one rep max, 225 pounds, for at least 30 minutes with short rests, all the while grunting and yelling and making a huge scene as if he's flipping Arnold himself. 
During his rests, he flexes in the mirror and does bodybuilding poses. Keep in mind, this is the cardio room and he's grunting, and that's literally the only sound other than the pop music playing on the speakers. Even if he went to the strength gym, he would have looked like a fool, though. Story 22. When I was about 16, 25 years ago, I was replacing a bar in the rack and there were two guys having a chat there. After replacing the weight, I turned and smiled and did what I thought was a friendly, joking fist pump. Well, one of the juice monkeys took it the wrong way and grabbed me by the throat, lifted me up and slammed me into the wall and demanded to know what the hell my problem was. That was uncool. Story 23. This one guy at our gym who actually used to work there had a very weird friendship with the other gym goers. He frequently talked to me and my friends about weird cow, but he seemed like a decent guy until he started yelling at some 15-year-old kid for not putting away the weights. Now let me set this straight. It is annoying when weights are left on, but it was a leg press machine where it is a given to leave on at least a plate. The guy starts yelling at the kid saying he will take away his membership and call his parents if he doesn't apologize to him and then has to go around and justify himself to us and the other guys he talks to so he doesn't look crazy. Well, he got fired now for giving lessons to people for money when he wasn't supposed to. Story 24. This was not at a gym, but on a football field. I used to play in an amateur men's tackle league. Canadian football, so American football with weird rules and more beer. Anyway, my team was an expansion team, and we didn't have a lot of great players. And like most high school amateur teams, you often had to play several positions. Very rarely was someone just a wide receiver or just an offensive lineman. One of the players on our team played halfback, which in Canadian football is like a safety, and tight end. This guy was a pretty heavy roid user, but despite the steroid use, he couldn't make it as a starter. So he was on the sidelines, slowly getting more and more worked up that coach wouldn't let him into the game. Finally, somewhere in the middle of the third quarter, coach turns to him and says, Hey, I need you to go on punt coverage. Well, he didn't like that very much, and he threw his helmet at the coach. Meanwhile, I, who played center on the O-line, was walking off the field, and I see this guy about 40 yards away walking to the middle of the field with no helmet on. All I said to myself was, why is he on the field with no helmet? Then I realize he's screaming at the fans. He has both middle fingers raised and screaming, fudge you, fudge this team, fudge all y'all, making all kinds of rude gestures. A ref tries to calm him down, and he shoves the ref away. That's when a couple of our linemen had to wrangle him until security came and escorted him to the locker room, where he proceeded to punch the ever-loving cow out of the metal locker room door. We never knew what happened to him after that, but I hope him. His tiny testicles and his busted knuckles are in a better place. Story 25. At a gym I worked at, a guy would come in occasionally that worked at another branch of the gym. He wouldn't speak to anyone and would work out. He was a pretty big guy. He would wear big headphones and sing Smooth Ramp B to himself while walking from station to station. Right before lifting, he would whisper, You can't lift anything you fucking lightweight over and over again to his self. This would go on for hours sometimes. It was amazing and kind of scary at the same time. Story 26. So I used to work at a campus gym in a huge gym. Like every type of activity, including a game room with Xbox, ping pong, and stuff like that. On the weekends, we had family hours where people could bring spouse and kids for free. It was the worst time to work. Anyway, at the time, I worked in our equipment center, renting out equipment. It's Sunday morning at 10 a.m. I'm hungover as cow, just trying to stay awake. This lady comes up and asks to rent the ping pong paddles and ball. Well, we only lend out the paddles. The balls are a quarter apiece in a gumball-like machine because little damage them like crazy. So I relay the message to the lady and she starts freaking out. Now usually, we keep a few extra balls laying around to give out to people who don't have a dollar to break. But this lady is yelling at me about how I ruined their weekend and can I just give her a quarter and what kind of monster am I? Again, I'm hung over like crazy and just don't have the patience to deal with it. So I told her find a dollar or no ping pong and to come better prepared. Plus, I'm not rewarding that type of behavior. Fudge you, lady. I make like 8.50 an hour. You can't have my quarters either. I have a lot more, but that one stands out. Story 27. Not a gym worker, but I went with my friend to the gym a couple times. Now this guy was kind of scrawny, and I see him go up to this leg machine. You add on whatever amount of weights you want, and you lay down at an angle on it and push up with your legs. He literally adds as many of the heaviest weights as this thing can handle. I was just on an elliptical running for a bit, and I slowed down to watch this guy. I'm about 50 feet away. He gets on and positions himself and starts to push. I'm like, there's no way he can get that up. He then proceeds to push it up once. I can see everything is his calf. His muscles are bulging, and from that far away, I can see his veins bulging out too. I'm actually worried I'm going to see his muscles rip through his skin. He then just drops his legs completely and instantly. It's supposed to be a slow release. The machine almost whacked him as the piece he pressed up came back down. He stumbled off and made it to the locker room, but I'm pretty sure he did some damage. 
Story 28. I'm probably too late to this bad person show, but I have one back from high school. This kid on my football team always would lift before the game, and he had some pretty intense anger issues. For a high school kid, he lifted some great weights with little to no form. Well, we are in the middle of a football game halftime. Coach is giving us the usual pep talk, and this dude starts lifting like he's insane. He couldn't get the weight right as Coach broke our ending huddle, so he proceeded to tear a water fountain off the wall and punch a firebox into pieces. Everyone just kind of ignored it. We ended up winning that game. Story 29. In college, there was this dude my friends and I dubbed Wigger Steroids and alternatively Rap Battles. He was this obviously roided up 20-something white dude who wore the most ghetto workout clothes and would spontaneously bust out in very loud, very enthusiastic rap verses in between sets, even if he wasn't actually listening to any music at the time. He was normally a pretty chill, if weird dude, so it was understandably shocking when one day he blew up at this wiry 60-something guy who I later found out had simply asked how many more sets rap battles had. One moment, Wigger Steroids was towering over this old guy and crowding his space like guys tend to do before a fight. And the next, Rap Battles was on the floor. Turns out that wiry old guy was a former Marine and was having none of Rap Battles nonsense. That was the last me or my friends saw Wigger Steroids. Story 30. Not an employee, but in January I joined a gym that's full of these sorts of people. Just last week the cops got called to break up a fight between two gym douchebags. Anyway, my first night at the gym, I was teaching my sister some basic TRX exercises when I hear an ungodly shriek of rage come from this fool that apparently messed up up his deadlift. He proceeded to slam the weights on the floor with yet another shriek of rage while yelling, FUDGE! That was for my flipping Instagram and I messed up it up fudge. The bro with the camera that was recording all of this said, Do it again, bro, and focus! This is for Instagram. Crazy man proceeded to scream and slap himself in the forehead, no less than five times while screaming fudge and kicking over his water bottle. I couldn't believe that I witnessed a grown peach man having a bona fide temper tantrum at the gym because he screwed up a video for his Instagram account. Plenty of other comedy gold stories from that dude as well. He is 33, but make sure to tell everyone in the gym that he's training for MLB tryouts. He hashtags all of his photos unsigned talent. Also, in one particularly memorable moment, he squatted, with poor form I might add, some ridiculous amount of weight. Once he was done, he proceeded to throw down the weights with a scream, literally rip his tank top off and pace around the squat rack while near shouting, I need to cool down. I, I just need to cool down. I now go to the gym early in the morning or super late at night. It's the only crowd that seems to know how to behave themselves. Story 31. This one guy, who's usually pretty even tempered, was doing vertical push-ups. He lost his balance slightly, got super pissed, then punched the floor. He shattered a cow tons of bones in his hand. Same guy round raged and threw a 60 pounds dumbbell at the mirror, where it went through the wall and into the adjacent shower. He's in jail for manslaughter now. Story 32. 1. A sweet college girl who invests in regular training used her guest access and brought in meathead boyfriend to our high-class training studio and 24-7 gym that is 70% female. Dude is already sweating and wild-eyed. Lord knows what he just took. Time to show off! Bro puts 315 on bar and squat rack no warm-up, and attempts to do just one rep. He does, but then ends up pinching his pinky under the bar when re-racking and lets out a bellowing FUD throughout the gym and comes up to the front desk for a band-aid. Then he adds another 90 pounds and attempts another single rep. He fails, drops bar letting out a deafening crash throughout the gym and a tirade of ogre bloodlusting profanity. He stomps to the locker room and tears a locker, cheap particle board at the time, off its hinges and storms out, letting out one last this gym is nonsense. He was there a total of five minutes and got himself banned for his stupidity, too. The only guy ever who takes classes left after routine participation in butts and guts. A few minutes later, he hurriedly limps back in through the front door and back into the gym. Weird. Five minutes later, a member comes up and says there's actual cow on the floor outside the locker room. I investigate and find a trail of small globs of liquid cow leading through men's locker room into a stall. Out comes our lone male class participant who says sorry. I give him a trash bag and suggest poking holes in the corners and wear his MC hammer pants. He grabs it and just wraps it around his waist and walks barefoot, clutching his poor clothes in one hand, holding up his garbage bag kilt with the other to the amusement and shock of the other members, staff, and randoms in our plaza. He canceled his membership soon after. I assume he also changed his name and moved. Story 33. I don't work at a gym, but this just might be the only platform I'll ever have to tell this story. I worked in a record store and a woman came in asking me if we had the Rocky soundtrack on CD. I went to the soundtrack section and found one used copy for $4.99.
She grabbed it from my hands and got a look dot 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 in her eyes as she said, Thank God you have this. My husband uses Eye of the Tiger as his pump-up song when he lifts weights, but I got really mad at him yesterday for being a dumbass, and I ripped his entire CD player system away from the wall and threw it out into the backyard. I didn't know that his Rocky CD was in there, and now it won't turn on to eject the CD. I'm so thankful you have this! That lady was kind of really awesome. Story 34. I knew this guy. He wore a yellow Hulkamania shirt, red spandex leggings, and combat boots painted yellow. No, this isn't a joke about this guy secretly being Hulk Hogan. This guy was about 6'6", probably 350 pounds. He's not a little guy, bald head and really thick glasses. This guy comes in playing some kind of entrance music on a tiny boombox. This is an Anytime Fitness at 1 a.m., and it's only me and two other guys there. He walks over to the free weights while talking to himself and pointing at himself in the mirror. He starts flexing. The two other guys walk away and go to the machines, and I follow. This guy does this whole thing about eating vitamins and saying prayers, and then goes crazy into the mirror. I'm laughing uncontrollably. My friends tell me to shut up, but I can't. It's hilarious. It's like a skit or something. They tell me that this guy shows up a couple times a week, and that's just what he does. Apparently he's slow, but he's slowly lost weight over time, so people don't say anything to him. Random guys have confronted him, but he starts crying and throwing stuff around so people just avoid him. Story 35. This happened at my local YMCA gym in small town Ohio which is actually one of the biggest ones in the country. There was a regular at my gym that had that perfect military flat, mid-50s and jacked. No way I would ever fudge with this guy. However, a group of early high school kids ganged up a bit and were chirping at him while he was benching. He told them to fudge off and quit being smartasses. Blame goes to the kids for running their mouth and trying to show off to each other. After he told the kids to fudge off, they did, but also told their dad what happened. Naturally, their dad wants to defend his son, so goes into the gym to give the flat top guy a piece of his mind. Only problem was dad was well out of shape and clearly didn't lift, nor did he have any business coming back into the gym. Next thing I know, flat top guy didn't even let dad finish his first sentence and just punched him. It looked like someone took a bat to the guy's face after a single flat top guy punch. Unfortunately, flat top guy never returned, but this is definitely my favorite gym story. Story 36. Not roid rage exactly, but I saw this jacked dude basically fudge his own reflection in the mirror. He was flexing and talking to himself like, ooh yeah, you like that? That's so flipping alluring. Yeah, baby. No one was exercising, just staring at this guy creeping the fudge out. Story 37. Oh, I got one. I didn't work there, but I was there. Chest day, best day as usual. This flipping loofah of a gym guy. He was probably 30 more pounds than me, but I know he wasn't as strong without sounding arrogant. Dude has his little petite girlfriend there to spot him. Like maybe 96 pounds. He's trying to max 315. Keep in mind, dude absolutely struggled to get one rep of 275. I'm good, let's go up. Like really loud and obnoxious for zero reason. Tries 315 hits his chest and he gets like three inches up and is about to drop it on his neck because his form is atrocious. She saved his goddamn life. My buddy and I were literally walking towards the bench because we didn't know if this little woman could help. She helps get it up and rack it and he just starts tearing into her you ruined my whole set. I had it, why did you touch the bar? Like literally screaming in her face. And we were like, dude, chill the fudge out. You did not have it. The whole gym saw cause you're over here screaming. He's just like fudge off and left. She followed shortly after looking devastated and clearly embarrassed. Never saw either of them again. Hope she's okay. Flipping meathead man. Nothing wrong with a little exertion, but this dude was not strong enough to be doing what he was. Straight ego if I've ever seen one. Story 38. Roid rage, eh? I work in a pharmacy, and this one guy who really has no business being on testosterone because he always acts like a flipping crybaby and completely loses his cow every time he picks up his medicine because he calls in for the actual vial to be refilled and not the needle syringes to go with it. So when we tell him it's going to take about 10 minutes to get it ready because other people are waiting for, you know, antibiotics and whatnot, he flips the fudge out. Story 39. Not a gym employee, but saw an employee bad person out, completely justified, at another gym goer. So this trainer is working with a female client who's attractive and obviously new to weight training, uncomfortable with the movements. So the trainer steps away for a couple minutes to grab a piece of equipment or something, and some gym bro walks up and starts flirting with her, and she's clearly uncomfortable but unsure how to handle it. Trainer comes back and gives him the fudge-off look and he leaves. A little bit later, they're doing an exercise and the girl is struggling on a rep. The gym bro from a couple benches down calls out some words of encouragement. She finishes the rep, and trainee grabs the weights from her hands and drops them while storming over to the gym bro. He goes off on this guy, 
He worked out, but the trainer was a pretty big guy, so he towered over him and laid into him about how he needs to stick to his own workout and he's making his client uncomfortable and that he has no right to coach or train anyone in the gym because he doesn't have that relationship with the girl. The whole gym sees this guy get verbally destroyed and quickly leave the gym. Never saw him there again. Story 40. Wasn't an employee, but I once walked into the gym at off hours and saw only one guy in the room. Went to a machine, saw a water bottle kind of off to the side, asked the dude if someone was using it. He said he didn't think so. Proceeded with my workout. Halfway through my second set, some dude walks in and zones in on me, storms over and picks up his water bottle. I stopped and asked if he was using the machine. He rolled his eyes all dramatically, said obviously he was, and then said, this is why I hate having girls in my gym. Then he stormed over to another machine and used it as loudly as humanly possible. Other dude in the gym gave me a what the fudge face and we both finished up super quick. Story 41. Saw a guy getting ready to do squats, around 315 pounds, and while slapping himself in the face, said loudly to himself, don't be a cat, little bad person, come on. Proceeded to do his set while insulting himself with bad person, cat, fudge nugget etc. I couldn't do my set for a while after that from laughing too hard. Story 42. I'm not an employee, but there's this guy at my gym who I'm pretty sure most people are either scared of or just choose to ignore him. He'll walk around with his arms at his side, but they are crossed, so he just takes up a bunch up space when he walks. He'll also walk around with his chest all the way out and will scream at you if you even glance at him. Also, if there are people on a machine, he'll force his way in. He won't ask or anything like that. Once he sees you get up after a set, He'll move your stuff and claim the machine as his own. If you try to tell him you're still using it, he'll just say something like, you can jump in if you want. Another way he forces his way onto a machine is, he'll see you on a machine you want and come and criticize you until you stop what you're doing just to tell him to shut up. Then he'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you needed some advice because you're doing it wrong. Another weird thing he does is he's always screaming. Even if he's just standing there waiting to do another set, he'll just randomly scream at the top of his lungs. When he wants to bench, he finds random people and screams at them until they spot him. He won't even ask. He'll just go up to you and scream at you. Story 43. In the 90s, when roids were a bit more common, I saw a guy punch another guy in the face for cutting him off going to the water fountain. Again every time, and boom, massive sucker punch. Yes, the cops were called and he went away in handcuffs. Honorable mention. A guy bending a locker door because someone changed his combination lock on him. Story 44. Yeah, yeah, not an employee and... Nowhere near as ridiculous as some of these. But my gym has signs everywhere telling people to let other gym members work sets in if they're going to be using a machine for a while. I was standing off to the side, waiting for this guy to finish up on the one machine I needed to end my circuit. He had already done five, seven sets on this machine when I asked if I could just get in to do one set to finish. He starts yelling at me, saying that I should just go use some other machine because he's not done yet. And how dare I ask him to use that machine because I obviously don't know what I'm doing. I had already done my circuit out of order while waiting for him to finish, and he was taking forever. Also, I've been lifting since I was 15 years old and currently train with a competitive bodybuilder. I think I know what I'm doing. Story 45. I worked in membership and I had a woman bad person out because I wouldn't give her 10 free guest passes. We sold packs of 10 passes or members received 2 free passes when they renewed. No one ever got 10 free guest passes. She stood up, slapped her hands on my desk and said, I want my guest passes. I quietly told her she would have to speak with the owner, which enraged her even more. She then stormed out of my office. I don't know if she ever got her guest passes, though. Story 46. There was some dude at the gym I was going to last summer who was yelling while deadlifting with one of those oxygen deprivation masks. He looked like a psycho and kept slamming weights on the ground and screaming. It was late at night, so there were no staff to tell him to steef you. Story 47. In high school, I stocked shelves at a grocery store with a guy who was a football player in university. He had just finished his last season of eligibility and was home for the summer. I guess he decided to take roids for a spin now that testing was no longer an issue and was full on every day three HRs a day in the gym. One day calls me over right before a massive deadlift and asks me to help him. When asked what he meant, he proceeds to encourage me to slap him in the face right before his attempts the lift. I declined many times out of fear for my life. He then gets even more aggressive and yells, God damn it, Uder Chadsworth! If you've ever had any anger towards me from work, I want you to take it out on me right now by slapping me as hard as you can. Being fired up the adrenaline rush, derived from a 300 pounds gorilla screaming at me, I delivered a slap force that registered in the top three all time in my then short life. What followed next was his face turning bright red, virtually every vein popping out of his body and lift grunt that exited him sounding like this.
He then dropped the weight shaking the gym floor, cried out in victory, thanked me and told me he'd see me later. Never questioned him again ever again. Story 48. I used to go to an LA fitness and in the locker room there was a big sign stating how bad steroids were for you and all of the problems they can cause and that they are not allowed in the gym. Right next to it, there was a hole that someone had punched in the wall. Story 49. I had a run with I assume was a professor in college once at the campus gym. In between sets on an incline machine, I went to the water fountain and came back with the alleged professor using the machine. He did a set, stopped and rested, then proceeded to do another set, stopped and rested again. So I asked if I could work in, mind you my stuff had been sitting right there, and he said no, he had a couple more sets. So keeping my cool, I grabbed my stuff and moved on. The following week, I'm in the middle of the same routine. Stop to get a drink and come back to find the same professor using the machine. He does a set and stops to rest. So I ask him if I can work in and he loses it. Says I did the same thing to him last week. So I lose it and say something along the lines. Listen, I was on the machine first and Jim Courtesy says you let others work in. Plus there is a flipping sign right here that says to share equipment between sets. I point to the sign right next to his head that says to share equipment between sets. He gets pissed and storms off. I finish my workout and then it dawns on. I hope I don't get that as a professor some semester. Fortunately, I never saw him again. Story 50. I had a buddy ask if he could start lifting with me. A few days in, I'm spotting him and giving him the typical male encouragement. You got this bad person. Don't be a cat. You got it. He slammed down the weights and cried. When someone has low self-esteem, that doesn't help. He saw me and my other buddies spotting each other saying the same cow to each other. I have no idea why he took it so seriously. Story 51. I worked at a gym as a personal trainer for a couple years. It was a huge high-end gym in a nice area. I once saw a 16-year-old scrawny kid put eight plates, four on each side, on a Smith machine for squats. I was training a client, so I wasn't paying attention to him until I heard a huge crash. The kid was on the ground, not under the bar, in front of the Smith machine. As a few of us went over to check on him, he stood up and limped frantically away. He didn't say a word, and I can only assume he left the gym completely out of embarrassment. When I looked at the machine, one of the weight-holding bars had bent downward in a way that rendered the machine useless. He broke a Smith machine. I've seen three or four people fall off treadmills too. It's always a teenager, usually a younger teenager with friends spectating. When you're in the cardio area and you hear the hum of a treadmill speeding up to 20 miles per hour, turn your head and watch. I don't know why, but kids will crank the speed way up and jump on, then fall off spectacularly after four seconds when they can't keep up. Story 52. Gym goer, not employee, but I was working out with a girl teaching her the ropes and a lady on the Stairmaster had her phone on speaker and she's screaming at her kid through the phone. So not really a gym freak out, but it was horribly uncomfortable and everyone in the gym got real quiet. Also not a good impression when taking a girl to the gym for her first time Lowell. Side comment, roid rage doesn't actually exist. Roids merely enhance already found traits in a person. So super aggressive person on roids will become more aggressive. But nice gym guy on roids stays nice gym guy. Source, knows many people on roids. Story 53. Worked in a boxing gym and the owner was a pro. Guy on roids was trying to be head members, and he took it upon himself to put him in his place. Last round I ever saw the guy, he, owner, was shifting for 30 straight seconds and dipping under wide punches while lighting the kid up for every uppercut and hook you should take in your life. Kid took off his headgear, punched a wall, screamed, hit a heavy bag for 15 minutes, then left and never came back. It's too bad. I wanted to see if he could take a punch, but they wouldn't let me since he was three weight classes down. Story 54? Two come to mind. One, the guy who used to scream, yes, yes, Jesus, yes, every time he lifted a weight. Two, a guy who came up and yelled in my face for smiling because somehow me being a pleasant employee while walking around and cleaning up weights equal sign me making fun of him. Yeah, story 55. Not a gym employee, but I had a patient once come in complain of chest discomfort. He was a 23-year-old who had a vague complaint of chest discomfort, like two little lumps forming. I had him take his shirt off and he is running a solid B cup. He finally admitted to me he had been doing steroids because he wanted to get into the police academy. Good job, buddy. Story 56. My friend took me to the local Young Men's Christian Association, abbreviated YMCA. And while there, I saw a man scream at a gym attendant when the attendant asked him to stop slamming the weights. The attendant was a very feisty girl and she called security. And when she walked away to do so, he grabbed her shoulder like a brute. At this point, I was across the gym and too shocked to do anything but she sort of jerked out of his grip and ran out. Luckily, security escorted him out without much incident. Story 57. I worked at a gym for a couple years, but unfortunately, I did not witness this episode. So apparently, some guy was throwing down the dumbbells when he worked out with them, 
so an employee asked him not to do that. He completely ignored the employee and turns back to his workout. So he keeps on throwing down the weights, and the employee returns to confront him more directly, threatening to kick him out if the guy didn't acknowledge the employee. So the guy gets pretty upset and basically tells the employee to fudge off. About 10 minutes later, the employee came back with security and paperwork to ban the guy from the gym. Guy throws a fit, starts yelling at the poor employee, and kicks a yoga ball. It hit some poor girl. That guy did not come back after that. Story 58. I have a rather unusual love-hate relationship with a young man at my gym by the name of Bryce. I played basketball with Bryce and Bryce proceeded to yell at me for taking a wide-open three while he had spent most of the game dribbling down court and shooted a contested three as soon as he was anywhere near the line. I was doing seated leg press when Bryce comes up behind me and slaps my abs as hard as he can. Bryce plays his music off of a speaker instead of using headphones so the whole weight area can hear it. I was doing planks when Bryce snuck up behind me and spanked my peach. I was spotting Bryce, and when I attempted to help him on his last rep when he seemed in trouble, he screamed, Don't ever touch my weight! I work out with a female friend with whom Bryce always tries to belittle me in front of and flirt with her. Whenever Bryce is tired, he yells at himself, Don't be a bad person, Bryce! Don't be a flipping bad person! Bryce is fun. Story 59. We had a guy at our local YMCA rage at group of Muslim students a couple years ago. Felt really bad for those guys. One of them asked him, Is anyone is using the bench? He just went off cursing at them. He let out all the steam that was building throughout the week. I guess they were bothering him before. The whole weight room paused to watch that guy go off, LMAO. Haven't seen him since.